PokerStars announces the World Championship of Online Poker. WCube continues to be the biggest accolade that every online player wants. Welcome to the PokerStars Arena and the World Championship of Online Poker 2020. Tonight, another big buy -in event with bounties. It's the 5K PKO High Roller. Hello, everyone. I'm James Hartigan alongside Joe Stapleton. Hello, my big buy -in event with bounties babies. <laughs> yes, a progressive knockout event with a $5,200 buy-in. It's WCOOP. 39 high. And Joe, we saw a total of 173 entries, including 49 re-entries. Price pool of $1 million as per the guarantee. First prize of more than 100K, plus those all-important head prizes. To bring us up to date, we actually have a chip lead for my top boy, Pone Diddy, Alex Theologius. Um, coming out of straight out of Thessalonica. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not actually sure he went in Greece. Uh, Alex Bomb actually resides in the UK now, and a very, very strong poker player indeed. Uh, someone that thinks very, very deeply about the game, takes his craft incredibly seriously. It's going to be. Even though we have a very tough final table, one of the firm favorites. Other names to draw your attention to, Lena900, who spent seemingly years at the top of the world rankings of online poker play. Poker, actually the biggest winner in terms of cash is all time in online poker. I'll pause momentarily because Vesely. Oh, with the ace, ace getting in there too. King. Hachi Machi, this is going to be a shame. No matter yeah. what happens, someone's going to get seriously injured in this hand. Yeah, and Felaciado of all rates with the Queens. Think this plays pretty nicely as a jam. Don't want to allow Pone Diddy into the pot. Don't want to allow Ace X to realize his its equity. Just want to stack Jacks. Here and now, very likely we will see a shove. I think Flaciado is going to be a little concerned that this three bet's coming from Vasily78, right? Someone mm. that we haven't seen get too out of line. These kind of top players will watch the other table and maybe even the commentary, maybe aware that Vasily78, uh, a little less experienced. So we'll click it back. Um, Click back time. Can you ever just call here? I don't think it's unreasonable. Kind of want to see all five cards with the Ace King. Also, if this is ever an Ace Five, you don't want to allow them an opportunity to sort of flop a flush draw and take it away from you. I would almost say this is like a small overrep from Felaciado here with the Queens, uh, potentially. I mean, this looks a bit more like aces than it does pocket queens. Huh. And what would you do here, Joe Stapleton? Are you all in or are you going to just try and see? A I'm, I'm, an, I'm an all in with Ace King guy. I got to see all five cards. I don't want to get blown off it after the flop. That's why I was uh, suggesting calling because I'm always all in here. So I'm like, well, what's an alternative to that? Yeah. Um, I mean, you've got position. You're, you've got, you're getting a great price. And you are two big stacks. That doesn't seem unreasonable to me. I guess the problem oh. is if you don't miss the flop, especially lays it down. If you don't miss the flop, you don't really get any more money, I don't think. So, so wow. Big fold from Vesely78. I understand their thinking there. Looks so strong from Felaciado. Decided to lay it down. Oh, oh my days. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my goodness. My oh, jeez. Bring out the Separate. stretcher. Both of them slow playing it. Yeah, I don't I don't know about this check from Olos. I guess he feels Alex doesn't have much 5x in range. And Alex may go. Yeah, no, for you have a to check that. <laughs> and what is this sizing from Christian? What is this sizing? 
I don't, I don't know about this. I don't think this is a thing, but Alex going to feel very good about the 5-4 here. Obviously, Votnilos, known as the sevens guy, and will attack. But check raising for value. I mean, and look, there are very few tells in online poker. Just look at his avatar. It's right there. It's a dead giveaway. So Alex going to go for value. What sizing is appropriate? Very polarized to four houses or five X here, I think. Or does he want to pick a sizing which includes ace queen? Might even see a shove here from Alex with the bounty in play. 2.4 million. And Pone Diddy was such a strong holding here, but Votnilos going to taking their time and very long, well, is going to raise all in. And then what does Alex do with the five? What all is in. this disastrous sure seven? It is noise coming when we're playing the games and the flipping. <laughs> and let me tell you now, Alex is hating this now. So happy yeah, betting for value on the turn, trying to get called by aces, aces, kings, ace, queen. Uh, and particularly, I think aces plays like this quite often. I think it doesn't away. beat anything now. And really, blocking queens or blocking sevens is more important than having a five. On the other hand, if you fold this, do you open yourself up to having essentially no calling range except for you having sevens? Such a weird spot. Such a weird spot. So unusual for Alex to flat the five and, um, and then this cooler flop. And Votnilos obviously loving life at this point. Um, really hoping to get paid. And this is, this is a big swing. There's a lot of money out there, right? So you're calling 2.5 million to win 10 million. You don't have to be right much of the time. It doesn't, but where would what Votnilos find the but you're, but you're right almost never. Like it's not even, I think it's below exactly. that number of times. Yeah. But if you were to always Look, fold. It's easy, again, it. it's easy for me to say, I can see it all. But like, you know, when you're in this spot, you're like, I'm, that's just, I'm dead. I'm dead. Sure. But if you were to always be folding this, then you open yourself up. These guys play against each other all the time. If you fold this on stream, well, you're just saying to people, Bluff me at will. So Alex is very meticulous. You gotta about double. This. You gotta double this guy up just so you don't get bluffed in a future tournament. <laughs> well, I, I, you do need a calling range. You have pocket sevens in range. You have quad fives in your range. Other than <laughs> that, you don't have pocket queens, right? It, but the question is: Is this a better call than say ace queen, right? Do you take this line? Is it better to have a queen and block? Oh, that's queen? a good, that's a really good question. That's yeah. a great that, question. That's what I don't know why I'm more inclined queen. to call with ace queen here than I am with five four. <laughs> well, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's very hard to see where Christian finds his bluffs from. I mean, this this is a tough, tough, tough fold. It's also psychologically hard to re-gear yourself. You're betting for nice fold from Alex Theologius. Really nice fold. <laughs> Gonna be, I'm it's gonna be it. so dreamy when this. Uh, put it this way: if Alex wasn't watching the stream before, he has tuned in for this hand. <laughs> that is, we gained Sad a viewer. Time. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what a fold! Yeah, what and lost up to ten million tournament chip later. Yeah, the the the. Uh, Wow, what a shove from Yaroshevsky, recognizing that the nine can be good here a lot. I oh. will get called by an inferior it's holding. Called. And makes two pair on the river. Garen doubles up. And Coco Jambo, King Jack here. Pretty strong blind on blind. 8K bounty in play here for wow. Feliciano. Wow, if this that is... is... Yeah, yeah. Enticing. That's a lot of dimp. Very enticing. And Felaciado will have done work on this spot. 
and have a sense of what that 8K bounty is worth. I mean, you can be ahead in this situation. And, you know, if you were to be flipping, that would be perfectly fine with the $8,000 overlay. It's only here where you're completely dominated. I mean, for instance, does Coco Jambo shove aces or kings, those hands that have you dead? We'll call the with call. The king Domination eight. Nation. Valenciano looking for an eight and hits it on the river. So gross. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, that's that's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. And I've I've seen a lot of really terrible things. I can't go into it. But <laughs> man, oh man, Anyan Dimov eliminated in ninth place for $28,346. Anyang, gone. Feliciano picks up that bounty and is now top dog bounty-wise. Yeah, absolutely. And everyone else, obviously, relieved to see a very experienced player bust out. And, of course, they all move up the pay ladder. This is quite close with King Queen suited. Tio thinking about shoving or just flatting. Will put it in. Feeling that Votnolos as chip leader going to be a bit looser in the spot. And Votnolos We're snaps. Flipping. It's holding. It's holding. It's do not hold. Double up. Leb Tremsen, TO, 373. Well, we've got the all-in here from Nicholas Astet. Lena 900 shoving for his last 1.6 million. Ace 10. The memoir Revo, Felitiado. Yeah. And just to echo your point, Sam, I guess they're both strong narratives and I'll be happy with either outcome. Let's get to the end of this all-in first. There is a six domination rotation and that is going bad, to be the double up for Lena bad call 900. From, bad call from Feliciano. Don't like that call. You can't call all in against Lena 900. Wait till you've got the nuts. You need a flush, maybe a set sometimes you can get in against him. No point. I've warned these guys early in the broadcast, giving them from the depth of 10 years experience, do not start calling Nina 900 all in without aces, possibly kings. That's my <laughs> recommendation all, to you guys. All of the hands are to be folded. So Lena 900, ace jack, very strong holding versus a button range. And what will Felaciado do with ace 10 suited? Ace queen, I think we would certainly see a call. Ace jack and ace 10 suited right on the cusp. Obviously, it's complicated by the fact that you have the button open who will wake up with it sometimes. 4K, not a huge bounty. But you are going to see some Ace-5 shoves. Ace, like, would what would Lena 900 do with Ace-8 suited, let's say? Almost certainly going to jam. You know, if you reshove here, button might even fold Ace-Queen, right? Might fold pocket eights. Really close spot. Well, certainly don't, using that time bank. Yeah, don't envy Feliciano in this situation. I think the smaller bounty might lean them towards fold. Also takes them under 10 big blinds if they get it wrong. Really, yeah, I mean, really this is not close. A, that's a good observation, Sam. This is no longer a short stack shove. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Over over 20 big blinds. And, you know, for all the experience uh, Feliciado has in tournament poker, you, uh, I find it myself, you come up a spot that is so close, right on the cusp. And the, but, you know, big, if you got it in here against Ace-9 suited, absolutely massive. If, on the other hand, you're wrong here and don't suck out, um, you know, that's a big, big swing to one of the best tournament players in the world in the form of Lena 900. What a disaster if you call it off here and the button has kings. Well, 10 seconds left to make a decision. Going to the wire. Make that five seconds. Wow. And elects to reshove at the last moment. Gleb Tremzin 
can fold the king nine and Lena is the at-risk player here, but it is domination nation in Lena's favor. And that is a safe run out. Nicholas Astet doubles up to 6.8 million. Lena 900 now with a huge stack, Sam. And yep, Flitiado down to a 10 big blind stack near enough. That call really, really cost him. Poker is so complicated at the best of times. Weighing up bounty versus ICM versus stack. You also don't want to give someone a double up and, and now you don't cover other players, right? It's really important yep. for... Um, you know, uh, Bayara to cover Vesely and Pone Diddy, right? So that if a caller goes their way, they get hold of that bounty. Like, these guys are all the time... Uh, and a bunch of hands here. Uh, Vesely with Jax, Tio with the suited ace. Yeah, there's just a lot of factors to weigh up in every given decision, yeah. you know? What makes it such an exciting format, right? That's the reason PKOs have proved so, so popular. It's the reason that like, tournament poker... Uh, has grown and grown over the years. Yeah. Tio, I mean, we've really? been joking, Sam, about the quantity of PKO events that we've covered during our first 10 WCube streams, but that just speaks volumes to how many of them there are on the WCube schedule, which speaks volumes to how popular they are. Yeah, and Vesely got to be careful here because these guys have seen them fold ace-king pre-flop, right, to the pocket queen's full bet. And as a result of it, these guys are now going after him a little bit. Think one thing that's going to help Vesely out here is that Tio has caught a little piece of the board and means that they don't have to go into bluffing mode. Right. Good to see. Um, yeah. And Tio may even begin to bet here for a bit of protection on the turn. Um, just wanting to charge an ace king. Um or pocket eights, or oh, ace fold, you know, just fold out ace 10. So we're looking and at Tio, a 3.7 million pot, and Tio's got 3.3 .3 behind. Yeah, I would imagine that uh, Tremlin feels like they're too high in their range to be bluffing here. Um, checks back, and... Nice for Vesely to pick up a big pot. I think that Tio perhaps underestimating or, or not accounting for just how strong Vesely's range is going to be there opening under the gun. I understand the aggressive instinct, um, but but arguably a little, little bit of a misstep. Ace Queen here with a very short stack that's going to be five big blinds in three minutes time, Sam, when we go to 100-200. All in. Jack-10 suited for Garen. Yeah, I think if Garen had more chips, this would definitely be a re-ISO. It leaves them desperately short. And this holding is is possibly... No, we'll put it in. I do understand that. And one thing oh to say Oh my God, is, there's so much money at stake here. There's so much bounty money now on the line. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, calling the all-in here doesn't hurt Votnalos, thinking better of it. We can see they were. And will call with Jack six suited. Oh, 10. Oh, the queen on the river. So that is going to be the triple up for, for Latiado. Garen wins the small side part against Bayara, but is really short. 340,000. Pretty much two bigs. And Garen is all in with eight, four of hearts. Yeah. Re -shove, sorry, re-raise rather from Votenlos. Yeah. And Bayara probably going to be forced to fold in such early position. We sh Yeah. Uh, also the bounty, I say just, but two and a half K, not as much, not the same as when Feliciado has that monstrous bounty. Garen at risk. Way behind. And out. So we finally lose a player in eighth. That player is Garen for E. Cashing out for a total of $20,849. Bounty claimed by Christian Rudolph. Taking us down to the final seven players. Tio coming in for a raise. Definitely an option to jam this holding. But raising because they actually cover Felaciado. And wow. 
This Hello. is a big, big flop. Tio flopping the nuts. But Felicio yep. actually with the double gut shot, backdoor flush draw, two overs. So many hands you would be in good shape against. Ace three, not one of them. Check, check. Queen of Diamonds on the turn. Gleb Tremsin now an 84% favorite. These guys love a slow play. I mean, the only <laughs> time they actually check any of these geezers is when they've got the nuts. And Fleshy Ardo going to go for a big bet. That's three quarters pot, and that does not leave Fleshy Ardo with many chips behind. Ace on the river. Barry Greenstein makes an appearance, but it does not change the outcome of this hand. Yeah. Can you believe so Sam said that Ace 3 was the nuts here and he's a W Cube champion? <laughs> so Feliciano is going to have some threes in bluffing range. We'll <gasps> go all in. Bluff shuts oh. the river, gets called, and we get a KO. Bounty. Bounty claimed by Gleb Tremsen. Manuel Rivo out in seventh place. Feliciano cashing for a total of just over $44,000, taking us down to the final six players in this 5K PKO high roller. King oh. Jack shoves on Jacks. King seven, rather. Seven on the turn. Oh. And King on the river. And Alex Theologis gets unlucky. Pone Diddy gets done by, ne by Lena and goes out in six for $41,000. So Lena the opens with nine door. six of diamonds. Viara defends with ace deuce. Pair of aces on the flop. And now Lena picks up the flush draw on the turn. Do not mess with Lena 900. Oh, yep. rivers no, it. No, no. Wow. Polarizing yeah, Lena, coming. gotta rip it. Yeah, and wow. now all in to That's call. And if you call by Ara, this will be another KO. And it's like Bayara is going to think, all right, well, Lena could definitely have another ace. So I feel like we're going to be chopping a lot. So maybe I should call. But that's man, the one that's, thing that yeah. points to call. I think, I think for, for many other reasons, though, like I, I think that you're the Mongolian player, Bayara, I don't think their hand is like under wrapped at all. Yeah. Like, like the turn check like by Lena. Hand. No, yeah. the, the, the turn check by Lena is a great turn check because you're going to check your aces on that turn. You're going to check. Uh, and then you think, all right, well, Bayara called. So either this player has an ace who's not, they're not folding or a 10. So it's just like, yeah, you know, and then to put it in on the river. I mean, this is a very good, a great fold if Bayara finds it. It's very tempting, especially as the shortest stack now. I mean, even before the hand started. This is why that time bank is so crucial. Because, like, sometimes, at least for me, if I have 200 seconds, I don't need those 200 seconds to fully think, but I do need a few seconds to, like, like kind of, like, slow my, you know, thought process down, try to, like, take it all into account and, and just try to... It's almost, yeah, at least to me, I visualize, like, kind of, like, like almost, you know, like it's like a chalkboard, like pros and cons kind of when you're thinking like, well, what's the, Makes you know, the this is one thing. This is another thing. Great fold. Folds, but we see the blinds going now to 150,000, 300,000, a sub 10 by big blind stack for Bayara. Meanwhile, Christian Rudolph opening on the button with a six, Gleb Tremsin, ace four in the big. Right around the 72nd mark is when I realized that I haven't acted yet. <laughs> it's like that moneymaker hand uh, from oh, 2003 oh, World oh, Series. Oh, oh. of aces for both Ooh, players. Baby. The nut flush draw for Gleb Tremsen. Gleb. Big sizing. And uh, but Wat Watanos can't really ever think 
I'm behind often, almost like maybe a seven would call ace eight is maybe calling. And now we're getting up to that point where ace nine is probably going all in here preflop. So, you know, you got to feel pretty comfortable aside from like queen three or ace three and queen three offsuits probably folding. Yeah. So a lot of chop opportunities here. But strictly speaking, even though Gleb Tremsen has the most equity, Christian Rudolph does have the best hand. A deuce and or a shot. five would be okay on the river. Wow. Yeah. Time to just run it. Good yeah. Luck, how, do you, how do you ever this? GL, GL. It's like I might be beat, but also I still have all these outs. You don't want to give him any timing tells before calling it off here, though. Here we go. The river is a four. Not the half, but the four. Two pair for Gleb Tremsen. Doubles up through Christian Rudolph. So now we see things move around a little bit. Nicholas Astet, Lena 900, has the chip lead. Just shy of 15 mil. Gleb Tremsen second in chips with 11 million. And Christian Rudolph, Votnos, is now third on the leaderboard. On the floor. That flipped around fast, you know. Well, bam! It did flip around fast, and now all Ooh. these bounties so are in play. Tio completed in the small. Lena raised from the big. Top pair versus bottom pair. Gleb Tremsen, a four to one favorite here with top pair, but it's two pair now for Lena on the turn. Uh oh. How do you get away from this? How do you get off here? I tell you, well, I mean, Lena's like not really. I don't necessarily I, think Lena's gonna. Well, Lena may. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't. I, I. It's tempting because there's two flush draws. Yeah, you have like now you have two pair. Like you kind of have to raise and and you know, get the, get the money in now before there's a bad river card, like a nine or, you know, the eight of diamonds. Uh, but in answer to your question specifically, Joe, how do you get away from this? The answer is Bayara, who's sitting there with 2 million. Yeah. And that is a full house for Nicholas Astet. Oh boy. Do not play against Lena 900. Sam Grafton <laughs> said it he from did. his lips to God's ears. It, it has been sound advice for this entire day today. Oh, wow. Oh, that now, is, I guess this is actually going to help bet, you. Right? Yeah, this is a right. really interesting river bet. Okay. This is where I'm going to say that Gleb Tremsen makes the hero fall. This is the point where. T.O. throws away his pair of tens. I definitely agree. I also agree. I think it's an unfortunate situation for Cleb Tremsen, is what you said. Oh, one second left. Zero. Okay. Oh, yeah. Time's out. Secretly want that sitting out button. Apply. You're like, ah, oh, man, I really don't want to click call here. Like, let's just. All right. Oh, okay. Th <laughs> Thanks, Time Bank. You made the decision. Ace eight on the button, first into the pot. Five big blinds, there all in. Lena calls with king ten. No Got shot. shot. Pair oh. of tens on the turn, <laughs> and that will do it for Bayara. The player from Mongolia exits in fifth place, cashing out for just shy of $50,000 when you combine payout and head prizes. Taking us down to the final four players, and Nicholas Astep from Sweden. AKA Lena 900 has 24 and a half million chips. The second biggest stack is the qualifier Vesely 78 with 10 million virtual all in the shove from Lena calls all in with King nine, a King and a nine on the flop ace oh, on the oh, turn no. oh. brick, brick river. So that's the double up for Gleb Tremsen up to 3.7 million still short, but crucially still alive. Should wow, Lena it. has a real hand. Queen 10 offsuit this time. Hmm? Honey, Dominate. he called Nation. me with Queen 10. 
I've never heard that. Where, 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 I have no idea where what that's from. <laughs> and Gleb Tremsen gets another double up, up to six million now. I would like to point out that Lena Nine Hundred has uh, has has flopped straight here. Okay. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Yeah. Welcome to Nicholas oh. Astet. Bounces cards off the wall. <laughs> if there is a jack on the river, though, if Tio gets there and is a jack on the river, that's going to be unfortunate because Tio immediately levels up their straight. Lena just continues to roll over this table. 26 million now. Wow. What? Watson or sorry, sevens guy folds 12 big blinds on the button with the ace three offsuit. Uh, I Smart. would almost always shove that as a short stack, uh, but it could just be that with the bounty and Lena, you know, probably going to call kind of wide. Uh, so it might not be worth it. And, and really the other two stacks, what it's 25 big blinds, 17 big blinds, and 12, so it's anybody's game. Okay. Wow, Lena folds the dominated hand. Does not call with Queen 10, honey. <laughs> he, he knows how to spell poker, at least. Raises small to big, gets a fold. Ace jack on the button. Raises. Gets oh. out flop, domination rotation. Ace on the turn, though. Flush draw for Seven's guy, calls, bricks river. Lena shoves, Seven's guy folds. Lena wins another one. That's just an unfortunate seven. hand for, yeah, Seven's guy. King Seven. Lena is oh, now wow. just open shoving on the other oh, three uh, players. Russell yeah. can't call an ace 10. This is such a sick spot. Yeah, see, now blind. That's probably also another reason why, uh, which is a good point that I didn't even think about, was blinds are going up in a few minutes. So if blinds go up, then really my 12 big blinds is now 10, and theirs are you know 18 or now 14 or 15 or something. So it becomes even it's, closer. Is, is that ridiculous? Like six hands in a row? Six or seven hands in a row, up to 30 million. If you look at the hand history tab, uh, it's just green, 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 green. <laughs> wow. Eight hands in a row. There we go. Oh, Nine. well, the, I mean, four, three big blinds. All in the big blind. I, I get it. Uh, seven's guy with queen 10 and... No chips. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, have we ever wow. seen anything like this? This is just annihilation. This is that like, nine or ten hands in a row. Wow. When someone is like, why is okay. Lena so good? You should just send them this like 50, 100 hands. You know, these, the last hour. No, you could just send them the last 50 seconds. I can <laughs> Confirmed, by the way. Thank you to StatMat. Oh, hold on a second. Let's see what happens here. Gleb Tremsen flops oh. a seven and gets the double up. Um, that was within a two-minute period, ten hands in a row. For oh, my God. Four-handed. That is insanity. Gleb Tremsen is back. Eight deuce, Lena's hand. <laughs> And it's a deuce on the river. And Seven's guy is KO'd in fourth place. Christian Votenlos Rudolf cashes out for a total of nearly $68,000. And now Lena with 32 and a half million is playing a 6 million stack and a 4 million stack. So confirmation, Adam, Lena 900. Nicholas Astet has one W Coop title. Of course, Gleb Tremsen. TO 373 is one of our legends of W Coop with four titles looking to win his fifth tonight. Wow.
So what what do you have to What's be it? to be a legend of W Coop? Is it like I mean four or is more. this like Hall of Six. There are how many are in player, there? Ten players on the list with four or more. Here we go. Oh Lena nine hundred no. eights and deuces, and that is the end of our qualifier. Vessel Elite seventy eight, the Polish player, cashes out for more than eighty six thousand dollars, having satellited in for fifty five bucks. 10-9 opens, Queen-10 calls, and it is oh, top pair versus two pair. Um, Nine, I think ten the to chips see are going in. Yikes. I think in Tio's spot, it's too hard to check call here. Yeah, here All we go. the call. The eight on the turn, the three on the river. We have a winner as Lena 900 KOs. Gleb Tremsin in second place, and Nicholas Astet from Sweden wins his second WCOOP title, taking down this 5K progressive knockout high roller and cashing out for a total of, let's see the final numbers, 201,000. More than 200 grand for Lena 900, 121K near enough for Gleb Tremzin, who is the runner-up. And a reminder that Vessel Elite 78, the Polish qualifier, in for $55, out for 86K.